I've often pondered the intricate dance of quantum particles that gave birth to our universe. Today, we embark on a journey that will challenge everything we thought we knew about reality. We're about to dive into the heart of creation itself, where spinning light gives rise to the very fabric of existence. Brace yourselves, for we're about to witness the universe unfold in ways you've never imagined. In the beginning, there was a point. The singularity. But this wasn't just any point. It was a nexus of infinite potential, a cosmic seed containing all the energy, matter, space and time that would ever exist. From this singularity, quantum state vectors or QSVs emerged, not as particles, but as spinning vectors of light, each carrying a precise angular frequency. As these QSVs spun and projected outward, they gave birth to the event horizon, a spherical canvas upon which the universe would be painted. This event horizon isn't just a boundary, it's a tapestry of Planck-scale qubits, tiny spinning light clocks that encode the very essence of reality. When these qubits interfere constructively, they give rise to the geometry and matter we observe in our universe. Now here's where it gets fascinating. The projection from the singularity onto the event horizon isn't just a simple mapping, it's the very act of creation. As QSVs project onto this cosmic screen, they weave the fabric of space-time itself. The interference patterns they create are not random, they're the blueprint of everything we know and everything we are. Where these quantum waves align and interfere constructively, we see the emergence of matter, the stars, planets and even our own bodies. But in regions where they cancel each other out, we find the vast voids of space. And from this dance of interference, the fundamental forces of nature arise. Gravity, electromagnetism, the strong and weak nuclear forces. But the story doesn't end with the formation of matter and forces. Life itself emerges from this quantum tapestry. Imagine, if you will, a moment when the constructive interference of QSVs becomes so perfectly aligned that it traps energy in a coherent standing wave. This is the birth of the first protocell, the earliest ancestor of all life. Within this quantum cradle, molecular bonding arises not from classical physics, but from the alignment of QSVs. The very essence of metabolism, the transfer of energy that powers all life, is, at its core, an exchange of angular frequencies. As these coherent structures stabilize and evolve, we see the emergence of DNA, not just as a chemical blueprint, but as a spiral resonator, a helix that stabilizes QSV interference across time and space. As life evolves, so too does its ability to maintain and manipulate quantum coherence. The brain, with its billions of neurons, becomes a nested resonance structure where coherent QSVs align across vast networks. This, my friends, is the quantum basis of consciousness. It's a refinement of angular frequency coherence, an optimization of our ability to resonate with the quantum information field that underlies all of reality. And as we continue to evolve and understand these processes, we open the door to possibilities that once seemed like science fiction. Stream hopping between realities, conscious control over aging, and perhaps even the ability to shape the very fabric of the cosmos. As we conclude this cosmic journey, we find ourselves at the threshold of a new understanding of reality. We are not separate from the universe, we are the universe experiencing itself, a collection of coherent quantum interference patterns that have gained the ability to contemplate their own existence. In this grand cosmic symphony, each of us plays a unique and vital part, forever connected to the spinning light that birthed all of creation.